So it really cuts amazing. I also showed you with some cardboard and now I say welcome to the review of the Benchmade 550-1. Yes indeed, this is a Cryptilian. This is surely not the Cryptilian you used to know. It's still a Melpadu design but it's aiming to go in the upper leagues of Benchmade. It's no longer meant to be the entry level model it used to be. It comes now with real G10 scales and the best steel available, which in this case is CPM 20 CV steel, which is with the Böhler M390 and uh, CTS 24P, the best steel out there currently. Let's go over the specs just for a second. Of course, it's an it's a Benchmade, so it has has an axis lock. It's manual opening, of course, because a flipper wouldn't work well with an axis lock. Although they tried and that didn't work, got great. The blade length is 3.45 inches or 8.8 .8 centimeter. The blade thickness is 0.115 inches or roughly 3 millimeters. And the, the length over the overall length is 8.07 inches or 20.5 centimeters. What else is interesting? It's 118 grams, but let's verify that because they often lie on that. No, it really is 118. Wow. So that means it's 4.19 ounces. Great! And the knife really cuts so amazingly well. I would put it up with the Zeband. So it's a sheep's foot design as you can see. It has a flat grind up to the well, I'd say it's really, yeah, the middle here has this nice swatch and it's a fantastic knife. If you look on it, if you look down on it, you see that it has jimping on the handle and on the thumb ramp and you have this nice blue going down the liners and you have the anodized, blue anodized standoffs, three to be exact, which makes four contact points, including the pivot. Oh, by the way, it was hardened to 59 to 61 HRC. I'd say let's make some size comparisons. Since I used that knife too a lot recently, let's check it with the Kaiser Intrepid. Looks about the same. Let's open them. The Kaiser is just a bit bigger. Okay, if we take as a Benzer. 
the Sipenza is slightly longer, but only slightly. But this proved also to be a very, very capable stabber without getting bent or anything. And of course, if I use one of my favorite knives, which also has a similar design, at least when it comes to the blade, the CT0456, you'll see that it's noticeable shorter even than the Benchmade. I can absolutely, absolutely recommend this, this great knife. And it costs about $180 in the States and about 250 euro in austria in both cases i i'd say it's definitely worth the money here on mine in the satin finish you can see first production 353 out of 1000 and up here you see mel padu the designer and here you see again the steel CPM 20 CV and I'll show you the entire knife close up with the nice deep pocket clip and then we go back in the other direction here you see the Benchmade logo the axis lock and there we are. So really I definitely recommend it. There is some short footage of me cutting paper and cutting cardboard. But yeah, that looks like somebody cutting cardboard, the usual. Just get this knife if you have some extra money, it's definitely worth worth your money i tested it for about a month cut immense amounts of cardboard didn't strop it once didn't sharpen it and it's still you see it with the paper it still cuts like a scalpel okay have a great day if you like this video please give it a like and if you want to see more of these kinds of reviews please subscribe thanks a lot bye bye